Hi, I'm Candace from TopCon Healthcare. Today I'm going to show you how to take peripheral fundus photos using your Maestro 2. We're going to select peripheral photo. Have the patient come forward and place their chin on the chin rest and have their forehead touching the bar. On the bottom left of the screen is a grid of zeros. Each of these boxes is a fixation point for the patient to look at. It's advised that you start with the center button first as that's going to give us a standard 45 degree view of the retina with the macula in the middle and the optic disc on one side. Make sure that the pupil is in between the dotted lines. In order to move the pupil position, you can adjust the chin rest height using these up and down arrows. On the left side of the screen, to better center the pupil within the blue box, tap the center of the pupil and hit capture start. Look at the green X, blink normally, before the countdown reaches zero, have the patient open. Great, hit okay. Now you'll go back to the pupil alignment screen and you'll see a one where you just took the photo. You'll also see that the computer has selected the next fixation point for you, as you can see by the illuminated button. However, you can manually choose a different fixation point if you prefer. Each button corresponds to a section of the patient's retina. The top middle button, for example, will photograph the section superior to the macula, while the bottom middle will photograph inferior to the macula. When photographing the right eye, the left button will center the optic nerve in the photo, and when photographing the left eye, the right button will center the optic nerve. Based on which button is illuminated, you'll know where to instruct the patient to look. For example, if the top middle button is illuminated, the patient will see the green X at the top of the inside of the lens. So the patient will need to look up at the X to make sure they're fixating properly. Likewise, if the bottom right button is illuminated, the patient will have to look at the bottom right to look at the green X and so on. Whenever the patient moves their pupil, adjust the pupil using the light blue lines on the right and by clicking the center of the patient to align the pupil for the next new fixation point. Just like before, position the pupil in between the dotted lines and within the big blue box and hit capture start. Blink and hold. Great, now hit OK. Hit each individual zero to continue or allow the maestro to select them for you automatically. And that's how you take a peripheral fundus photo using your Maestro 2. For more information on how to combine peripheral photos into a mosaic image, please check out TopCon Healthcare University.